what's your problem? Skank. This kid is lost his mind. I think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable. Like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brothel. The woman, she must be she must be many, many arts. Be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the babies. And she must also be a whore. A vixen in the bedroom. Imaginative, exotic, constantly fresh. It is impossible. You change the diapers and then you are a French maid? this place now do we have to keep running you got scraps huh hey man ain't you got a family to bore you gonna move or what make it easy on yourself and run away Won't be needing this now. Okay, man. Give me a fight. Get out of here.
You got big issues here, officer. Man, I totally identify with shallow heroes who I don't know personally. God, I love a dude with a big pituitary gland. I love the Shit, man! No pets allowed. Yeah, I love this cut right here. You deserve it. You must You really very ugly. I'm 
innocent. Oh. Who got issues now, bitch? Do we have to keep running? Lead this place next year. Jump off a cliff. Okay, let's keep on running. Horse! Up from my fucking game. I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but what do you want to talk about? Oh man, I mean, what, what, what else is there? I could go on all day, but what would you do? Don't you, Laszlo? Uh, not really. I mean, what's your name? What'd you call about? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm Maria, you know, Maria, like Mamma Mia. I'm only different, you know, but, you know, men, M-E-N. <laughs> I mean, it's a dirty word, only there's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcasts are all the same, aren't you? I mean, I heard about you. You're always out of. Whoa, 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 what are you talking about? Uh, I'm married. Hey, man, ain't you got a family to board? Hey, shut your mouth up. Are you getting bored of this? Look, I can run all day. Say, you don't 
think he's like you, do you? What do you mean, like me? Well, this cut is just my style. Ain't such a buster now, huh? Scraps, huh? You had fun back there? You got big issues there. Oh. Please, excuse me. Get out the road, pump. Don't be a bully. This is pissing me off. Don't be a bully. Bang, 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 Die. Your mama! Don't be a bully.
white bitch. And now, I'm gonna stay in the tree. Look, I'm sorry. Whatever, man, I'm on the clock. Cool. Fool, I'll run this piece. Fuck you, lady. All right, let's have us some coffee. Silence! Ah, ah. Oh! Come on, wimp. Ah! Uh. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I love this cut. Give me that grip. What you dudes waiting for? Damn, you look like a pig with a wig. What y'all waiting for? Oh. Yeah. Ah. Keep going, I'm right here. Send that over here. I'm in the Peace Corps, man. In life, Amy, I remember one of the first bits of fan Somebody mail I got. Came by bottle in the sea. A man of Lollard yes, Island said, A oh, tiny woman shit. came to our farm hey, and swept in front here. of our door. A woodland troll has carried Asshole. off my woman in the dead of night. Give me wisdom, Thor. So, what did you tell him? Hi, Amy. It was obvious the Black Plague had visited his home. As sure as you can't be a midwife to a fairy, expect wisdom from a fool, or find a good hey, meal downtown on a Saturday night. Look at that. Okay. I don't, um. I really have nothing to ask you because I really don't think we're bonding quite right here. I'm more than a little confused. Let's go to the phone! You're on K-Chat with Thor. Yes, hello, Thor. My name's Jay. I'm a huge fan, man. Your book really helped me get through puberty. Everyone else was into vampires and stuff. I just got into the Viking thing. It's pretty cool. 
It's been working pretty well for me. Anyway, my girlfriend and I, we fight all the time. She's always calling to check up on me. It really totally sucks. It's a drag. Like, like I hang out at the strip mall with all my boys, and she shows up. Is there any advice you can give me? Ah, uh, yes. There was a man who asked for a night's lodging at a certain farm on the eve of Moundy Thursday. Or maybe it was Fat Tuesday. Anyway, in the course of the night, the old woman of the house took out a hornet salve and smeared herself with it from head to toe. She then climbed on top of the stove, sat astride a sweeping broom, and began to... Um, hello, okay, excuse me, what the hell are you talking about? Greeting from the runes, wench! What kind of rune is that? Aye, it's a man's rune, and not appropriate for the warrior under 18 years old. But there's a moral at the end. Are you still there, Fair J? Uh, yeah, I'm still here. Do you love this woman? Yeah, I, I think so. She's really special. Especially in the back seat, if you know what I mean, Thor. Then behead her, and parade thy love around on a stick oh, for the world shit. to admire. Wow, cool. Thanks, Thor. Okay, I'd like to throw you out, but you've got an enormous sword and, uh, uh no! yeah. Blast. Let's take another Let's call. Go. But first, listeners, by city, remember, don't behead your girlfriend and take her head around on a stick. Hello, you're on K-Chat with Thor. Hey, brother, my name is TJ. Your book is fresh. Real fresh. Like it's been a real inspiration and all that. It's most definitely on me and my crew's vibe. And that Loki brother, he's as slick as Salifax. You know what I mean, Trooper? In fact, me and my boys have started a Thor fan club. You know what I'm rapping? We're on your vibe, man. Hi, a Thor fan club. This pleases Thor very much. I shall speak of myself. <laughs>